Hello, everyone. I'm here. I had to kick everyone out of this server before I came in here because nobody left me any space. But, for the people that are in here, we are doing the 20 minute rule because I see a lot of people that already went in here, so... 20 minutes, so you guys get to be in the server with me, and then please leave and switch out so new people can come in. Just keep it, if you're on the live stream right now, just look at the chat and see if anybody wants to come in. Just make sure that you're not here the whole time. Um, I'm keeping this change log open for a sec because I wanted to go over all the new things that Den added. Um, as most of you know, he uh, disabled collisions. <laughs> This is a game pass, so you have to pay it. It's, uh, how much was it? 250 something, I think? 280, 280 or 298. 298. He always, so takes, two, he always takes two Robux off of okay, the Okay, so it's number. 300. 300 Robux for this. Uh, I haven't got to play with it that much. Peter pit played with it a lot because Den always likes to come into our servers. <laughs> after he does updates because Peter is very good at finding bugs and problems because he will test this game until he finds something. <laughs> like, he li he doesn't sit there and try to like build things like so that it works well. He tries to build things to see how he can break what Den built so <laughs> that it's foolproof. So that's why Den likes to be in the server Right after he always makes an update with Peter, because Peter will sit there and try to break his game. That's what that's that's Peter's job. <laughs> uh -huh. See if he can break theme park <laughs> Um I also keep try I also try and keep track of all the people in the server this time since there's a lot of people that yeah. want to go in there. Yeah, just to keep track of the people in the server. Uh so uh just to talk about the fact that that Den comes into our servers after an update. I know a lot of people like go crazy because they see Den in in the server and they're like, oh, I want to meet Den, I want to meet Den. Oh, thank you, Anton, for following us. Thank you. Um, the whole thing about that is, is I'm not going to go out of my way for people to meet Den. Like, that's up to him, what he wants to do. I'm... Meet me? Fine. I have, like, all these servers for you to meet me and everything like that, but Den is his own person, and I'm not going to sit there and go out of my way for you to meet him when that's up to him. Yeah, because so. just when I, like, back in the day when I did YouTube myself, and people basically added me so that, or I, I was friends with someone, and the people were sitting there spamming them to try and get to me. Yeah. That's not, that, that, that's, that's, that's the fastest way to a ban you can get yeah so don't do that because den is in there to work yeah not to sit there and meet people if he's in the yeah. server he, he specifically left that server and joined the other server that i was in so we could sit there and test the game he's not there to chat the people if he wants to sit there and chat the people he will go in a public server and chat the people and he does come into my server sometimes just to chat yeah and stuff but after a an update usually he wants to be in a server with Peter so see if Peter can break his game yeah <laughs> basically um let's let's move on though to what the the next update was is the dive coaster and I haven't got to play with I didn't get to play with this the gliding thing yet or the dive coaster so you guys are gonna see me playing around with Probably not the dive coaster, but the colliding thing a lot. Well, one fun thing already with the dive coaster is the first bug I found. The dive coaster's wide loop hits itself. <laughs> so you can, if you don't have the game pass, you cannot place the loop from the dive coaster. And since there hasn't it's been too a, big? Yeah, yeah it's too wide. It's it too hits wide. Its, it hits itself. Like, oh. the, the, the first part of the track and the second part of the track well, hit each other. That's probably a reason why it had to be added with this update then. Not really. Then it was like, oh, yeah, let me fix that. Oh, so it was, <laughs> okay. It, wasn't, it was not intentional. Um, he also added sloped rope fences, which, yes, because I love rope fences, and I was always mad that I couldn't use them in other places, and now I finally have a sloped version. Mm -hmm. uh, three wooden fences, which I haven't looked at those at all, but we'll look at them real quick. 
two uh, neon light variants. I think that one goes on the roof and yeah, one the, on the bottom. The, that's the one I requested from then. It's, yeah, it's a neon light that's on the edge, and one of them is on the top, and the other one is on the bottom. The reason I asked them for that is because you can make custom street lamps with those. Because mm. they, they line up with wool pieces, so you can make a custom street lamp by hanging them on the bottom of a, of a, a bar. Oh, well, somebody told me that I needed to add one of those to my oven, so I will. Yeah, you can do that, too. Um, internal changes, yeah, internal and then change a bunch of fixed issues. So, let's go look at his new fences, because I don't even know which those ones look like. Let me fix... It's one reason why I have to always be in server one. Every single time that I'm streaming, I have to have a spot in server one because it, that's my server. The other two servers, server two and server three, are Peter's, and so I can't do commands in there. So yeah. I have to be in server one. Reason reason I own server two and three is because Nerdy already owns server one and a special secret server that she only uses for recordings. Yep. If in case she's like very busy. Usually she records in server one, but sometimes yeah. if it's really busy, we, we had a bunch of stuff to do, she goes into other server. So we both have two servers that way. So yeah. that way, the Robux cost is split every month. Because mm, okay. if we if we if we made all th all four servers from Nerdy herself, she wouldn't have any Robux to use on costumes and, and other things in the game itself. Which I need those. Yeah. So there's the sloped fence. So they said there was three new wood fences. Yeah, there's a there's a this wooden one? there's a wooden fence with a little little, little ledge, ledge on, on the top, it? then a half wall with a ledge and just the ledge itself. Oh, so this is like the ver this is like the uh, wood version of the brick. Yeah. And that one's ooh, that's nice, 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 nice. So those are all the new ones, just those three. Yeah, those are the three new wooden walls. That's okay, that's I the like only those. Ones. Love those. I love I love border fences more than I like the big fences. Um, Another nice thing, by the way, with the collision thing, mm -hmm. um, grab a metal plate wall and then a wooden crossbar wall thing, and then place those on top of each other. So wait, grab a metal wall? Yeah, just a normal thin metal wall. Yeah, I think that's like all the way at the end. Okay. And then you get the wooden cross one. Like this one? Yeah, and if you then uh, place that on top of the other one. Oh, like in it? Yeah. Oh. So that's that's like an example of things you can do with the game pass to make more it's detail. It's kind of glitchy on, on the top, ones. but you could put, but you could put. Uh, if you go here, roofs. You could put um, Twitch. Shush. Uh, well, emails, shush. I know, right? It's completely spamming the thing. You could put one of these on the you top of it. You can also just turn off Outlook altogether. Since it doesn't care about the volume control. Maybe yeah, kind of a little bit of rid of the glitch. What am I supposed to do? Turn off Outlook? What? Yeah, I just press Control Shift Escape. Fun button combination, and then just uh, go to Outlook and just just end process. What's that in Dutch? The, I was I was. Or just just select it and hit delete. <laughs> well, without that open. Yeah, no. There you go. That should stop those stupid notification okay. noises. Well, that's cool, though. Because those notification noises bother me every week. And you can only do that with the metal fence, by the way, because the metal fence is thinner than the yep. regular wood fence. Exactly. And the brick fence. Um, I was <laughs> working on a money park over here quickly, but uh, there's no way I could finish that in time. Because if you look at my money right now, I only have 300000 <laughs> So... I'm just gonna quickly come over here and uh, work on this. Which now I kind of want to put the new wood fences over here, but I already got brick going, and it's. I'll just do that real quick. 
I was trying to quickly, quickly do this. But there's no way to quickly make a money-making park. They, they take at least a good hour, 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 to an hour. 20 minutes to an hour. Depending on how detailed you want to get there. But I already stated in my money-making park video that I made that I have a problem and I cannot stand playing parks. Can't do it, people. Another thing that's that's fun with the the new game pass. Mm -hmm. If you get the big tree and dip it into the ground. You like put it in the ground? Yeah. Hold on a second. Just to give people some ideas. Because there's so many things you can do with the game pass and the best way to find them all is you just play around and just do random things like not even think about making something specific just throw something down and see what it makes that's how we found most of the things when we were testing everything too true will i could make my money zone smaller but i'm fine I'm also, just gonna go with my standard thing at the moment, mm -hmm. and then I'll play around with the thing. Also, a fun fact about the game pass: there is still a limit. On a regular block, you can only put five things on top of each other. On a wall, you can only put two things on top of each other, and things like poles are still only singular. So keep that in mind. It's not an unlimited throw everything in one tile thing. making a money park so then we can play around with a new thing while we make an entrance to our PJP AMM zoo which I was thinking while I was making this money park earlier that I definitely want to put a rapids ride in the zoo park Ra I want a rapids ride and I want a sloth coaster that goes extra freaking slow mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a hang it's a murder coaster <laughs> Inverted coaster with chain lift speed 25 and <laughs> track friction 250. Because yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious. It's going to have the longest line ever. <laughs> it will. It will have the longest line ever. I can place trees for the decals. What do you what do you mean that by that? Well that I'm confused. I can place trees. I'm definitely gonna use that non collide thing for a jungle cruise because I was having such a problem with like the foliage, but now I can like double up on that. Do keep in mind one thing with the trees, by the way. Huh. Since they technically take up three tiles, three by three tiles, you can only place three next to each other, and otherwise the game's gonna complain that there's too many things uh, in a block. I know that, but I wasn't like gonna put like tree on top of tree. I was more worried about like the ground, like because the crown, the ground looks so bare. Like I can put tons of bushes down there now. Well, you don't even have to put bushes there because one thing that's nice—that's the reason I was trying to uh, tell you to do the tree thing is that the top of the tree doesn't technically have collision and the nice thing about that is if you dip the tree into the ground you get very big 3x3 three three size bushes so basically you can make a very big 
shrubbery area on the bottom. Hmm. And then still put the trees on top of it. Because I did that with them too. I made, made a little little jungly forest thing by just putting trees in the ground and on top of it at the same time. Well, we're going to make a jungly thing over here too, so. Which, by the way, I didn't get to really practice with the trees. So we're still going to figure out a tree. A big tree. Which, if Wilda will join server one sometime, maybe he can build me trees. <laughs> Good luck getting in there for us. Because <laughs> I might just recruit someone to build me some trees. Because I am not so good at it. that says he's horrible at it, even though he won build battle with his jungle uh, coaster. <laughs> Bad at it. <laughs> <laughs> he made an even better joke, saying that Legendary is good at it. <laughs> you have to find something that he's good at. thing legendary is good at is spam tagging me when he needs when he's asking someone else a question it's like yesterday too asking for the turnstile decal it's like how am I supposed to know that I wasn't the one to use those ever like it's super duper new they use those first and then other people use them too I've never used them it's like why is he tagging me for <laughs> Oh, now that you're building a uh, dark ride. Another fun trick with the dark ride, you can technically hide the track by building the floor out of um, roofs. Oh, yeah, huh. Which you could probably even demonstrate that with this ride, because it's just a little small thing anyway. Yeah, hold on. So, like, just grab the roof? Yeah, just grab the roof, give it a funky color, and then just hold shift on the ground and just place it all over the thing. Yeah, because now you can see the... Mm -hmm. And then the track is kind of gone, but yeah. you still you still keep the, the little track that shows where the cart's going to go. Well, like, even if I was going to like paint this green... Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
quick he heads up to the people in the server. Your 20 minutes are over now. everyone a favor and uh, skedaddle so yeah. people can join just get out of the server without causing any problems so that we don't have to sit here and deal with that question is if those other two people even are watching the stream and are aware of that. So, we'll be uh, useful Good to question, you. yeah, let me put that in the yeah. thing. sound of my keyboard. <laughs> nice and clicky. Well, that's a fun message you send them but they didn't that didn't say anything about get I the know frick I'm out gonna of here. see what they're gonna say first. That's why I said it nicely first. <laughs> mean <-la. laughs> Peter's keyboard's strange. You have to say, say that Oliver's two seconds are taking quite long, as in five minutes too long. Well, he's gone now. No, he's not. Or at he least not bye. on me. Oh. Will was there literally in there for twenty seconds.
<laughs> Forgot collisions off so I could not stick bushes anywhere. <laughs> Will that got rejoined for some reason. I took him out of my uh, list of people that have been in the server so far. So. He got, he got what now? He got into the, he got into the server and then it, the game decided to rejoin him and then the server was full. Cool. Oh. I realize this whole time I've not been putting down trash cans. So I Trash cans. Trash cans. You can also put lampposts in trash cans and chairs now. Yeah, I can. Uh. Something else I did and then was looking at it like, well, at least the trash is illuminated now. <laughs> I'm I doing used, it right now. I'm putting them where the trash cans are. Because I, I used the small lantern and I put it in a trash can so you have to illuminate the trash. It also means that I can actually put the lampposts on the queue path now because you didn't used to be able to. Lampposts could already go on the cube path, the trash can, and the oh, trash bench cans couldn't. That's right. But trash there's cans. no point to it anyway, because guests don't no, throw trash on them. No, they don't throw trash them. there. Nor do they sit down there, so there's no point in putting benches there either. How's my money doing? Look at that money shooting up real fast now. I mean, it's lower than what you started with. Huh? It's lower than what you started with. Well, that's because I made the thing. Look! A lamp post in a bench. Hmm. I'm gonna see someone sit in that. <laughs> the lamp post is gonna be in their head. <laughs> people sitting on a bench. Okay, so the, that actually works then. Yeah. You can also put a trash can there, but that would be very uh, nasty to sit next to. Especially for you, because you're a germaphobe. You know, 
that's even funnier. Mm -hmm. You can now also cover up the path with the terrain and then still walk through it anyway. Yep. That's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I'm not even putting a hole there anymore. It's like they just sink through the ground <laughs> magically. See, they're just walking through it. They don't even care anymore. Like, so Whoa. now the underground park is completely invisible. So you don't even you don't even have to remove it really afterwards. I'm not going to. I'm just gonna leave it like this. I mean, unless you hit the ride limit, then then you can remove it, I guess. But apart from that, it's a useful income. Useful. I usually income. just leave it because I mean, I'm not gonna build anything underground over here. That's one reason I put it over here. Because everything over here is going to be a coaster and a rapids ride. None of those are going underground. <laughs> okay. Now we got to work on this tree. And as you can see, nothing was changed from last stream because I haven't done anything. And I'm actually was behind this week on my uh, videos. So I was just it's, just, it's just been a busy week. Next week's going to be very busy for me because I have Dark Ride competition. I'm probably going to change this little building because I want it to look more like a hut. Right now I'm just looking like a little house. Standing in front of this thing. Uh. That one. It's a very blocky tree thing. Blocky block block tree. I mean, it doesn't look too bad, but I'm pretty sure somebody could come in here and do better than that. <sighs> grab this thing. color I think I think I'm probably gonna have someone come in here and make some trees for me because I'm not really liking my trees I want to more focus on this little hut entrance I want to make because I know I can do that So if I have any volunteers, make me some big trees. I'm gonna place down, uh... I'm gonna delete this, because I want one tree here. And I want a tree there, which I think those are, yeah. And I probably want a tree... What is this, two away? So, here. So I need three trees. So someone come in and do that for me. 
You are more than welcome. What I'm gonna do right now. Preferably someone that's better than that. Well, I prefer Wilda, who's watching right now, to do it because I know his trees look really good. Pusheen is really good at primitives, though, but I don't. I've never seen her do trees. Oh. He's like, no. <laughs> um, I'm gonna make a round hut, so I'm gonna use the primitives. Custard says that he's leaving and then he just isn't. Um, I think I'm gonna make this out of concrete and then like. dark brown the concrete comes in and gives it that kind of muddy hut look I'm about to go three up with this This is almost looking really like the things I made for um, Holiday Land. <laughs> Would you be so kind to dig a hole underneath Anton's feet and then bury him? I will if he keeps bouncing on me. Yep. Stop bouncing on me, I'm trying to build. I can't do that if you're trying to knock me over, Anton. Kind of almost looks over there in Breadland a little bit, so let me change the color a little bit. To primitives here and grab oh, it's too tall. this one and make that one grass. And then that one. Good. Yeah. thing I 
actually that color. There you go. And then we're gonna go to wood here. I'm gonna use the rope fence. Um. Yes, it is a hut. <laughs> it's a hut hut. I'm like, I was reading the chat, so I was going very scrolling very slow through here, sorry. <laughs> um, I think... The hut's just an entrance into the um, PGB AMM Zoo. So it's just a little entrance. And then there's gonna be these big trees here. I need someone to help me with it. I'm just gonna make some of my little blocky trees I have unless somebody can well, come in here and make me some better ones. Machine offered to help and she's standing right oh. in your hut. I put caps lock. Here's a 20 minute mark for Anton. So Anton, your time is up. Let somebody else in, please. Thank you. Technically, Pusheen's one is also almost but over. But she's gonna but help me, if so she, she gets if she's to gonna, stay. Yeah, if she's gonna help, then I'm going to let her stay in there. For now. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this wood here. I'm gonna grab the round one. Chat's doing that thing again where he keeps putting the slash in the front. Mm, right. Hate it when it does that. It's one of those annoying Roblox bugs that Den can't do anything about. No, yeah. It's, it's annoying. This person's walking into my entrance. There's nothing in there yet.
walking in there. There's nothing there. You know what this also means? I can put lights inside of blocks to hide them. So I can grab my my favorite light to use, this one, and stick it in the block. Which it's a little bright, so I'm gonna grab this real quick because I wanna make it not white, I wanna make it yellow-ish. There we go. And then boom! Hidden light. That is really nice to have that. This is almost exactly the same hut that I made for Holiday Land, but. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> I'm trying to make it look not exactly the same, but. Support beans there. And then go over here to props. How's the tree looking so far? There's what? How's the tree looking so far? I mean, it looks better than what I did, personally. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing is, is that, let me grab this, I want it to be the same height as the kitchen, so, it looks more African is what I, is what I meant, like, it looks more like an African tree. It needs to just be there. I hate how that thing pops up every single time I try to type. Just hit enter instead of slash. Enter works? <sighs> I never knew that. <laughs> well, I usually don't use it because it's it only works in, in this game. It doesn't work in other games. Jesus, now I can get the chat away. have any props. Let me get to the lights here. Oh, that was the other thing we hadn't looked at was the fact that the neon lights, these things. here for right now. I'm probably going to make a sign later, but... Or if somebody's going to make me a decalysis PJB AMM Zoo. Well, Blue Gamer already made three and I already complained about all three of them. I can't say PJB AMM. The first, the first one he made was generic. The 
second one he made had a hippo in it, but not a sloth, and the third one was just a sloth. So I told him he needs to have both of them. A hippo and a sloth at least. Mm -hmm. there's, it, basically in this section, there's going to be a sloth coaster. The rapids ride is going to be hippo African safari themed. And then there's going to be a panda ride, which I don't exactly know what the panda ride is going to be. I think it's going to be a flat ride at this moment. And that it's just going to be like, it's <laughs> going to look like a panda sitting there eating something. Like, I don't know which, like... Let's make, make the observation tower out of bamboo. <laughs> yeah. And then get someone that is good at making giant things a panda, make, enough, make a panda or something. Well, I do know someone that makes giant things, but they make way too giant things for this. <laughs> Besides, I'm gonna try to make the panda myself. Like I said, like I like to try things myself first. And if I don't do it, if I don't like what I make, then I'll get somebody else to do it. Yeah, the person that will I just mentioned in the chat, that's the person I meant, but yeah. just like Nerdy said, they make their things Hers so... Hers are gigantic. They basically took up the whole park, which in this case would be too big, probably. Mm. I mean, I don't know if you can make smaller ones. She might be able to make smaller ones. I also don't know how long she takes to make them. I don't know, she made that panda for me that she made before in like a day. You know, just try and... She like, just needs a park with money in it, that's all. Yeah, can, you, can you not just try to recreate that one? As I said, I want to try to do it myself first. Yeah. I mean, make hey, my version of guess it. guess what? It's time for a custard to get out of there. <laughs> I can do this. Hey, that looks pretty cool, actually. No, <sighs> Custard, you need to leave. No time's up. Minute past him. Okay, so I'm gonna build the rapids ride over here. What the hell is he doing? <laughs> Not leaving. Leave. No. Um, the only thing is that I want to make sure that I don't, number one, get in the way of them going down there because them walking through my ride is going to look bad. So I just want to focus more on this area and I'm just going to make a not too complicated <laughs> rapids ride. Or should we put the sloth coaster here? What what's what do you think? Sloth coaster first or rapids ride? Uh, I think that side could have the, the rapids ride because the sloth thing basically probably needs more trees and it would basically block. Probably the view. I was thinking about putting it over here. Because if you put the if you put the sloth thing with the trees on the front, if you then look at the park from the front, it blocks out the whole thing. So you want to have the lower thing on the front and the higher thing in the back. So we're gonna make hippos, hippo, hippo, hippo. Hey, Willa got back into the game. Let's hope he doesn't rejoin again. I'm gonna have Peter make the soft coaster, so that's why I asked him. What he wanted to put over here first. I have to think about how I want this track to go. Look at our tree. Uh. 
Well, the only problem I have is that the, it's not, the tree trunk is like, it's like heavier on this side than it is on the front. I like the shape though. You accidentally clicked the wrong button. Uh, Like, that's the center of that, isn't it? It's hard to tell. One, two, One, two three, four, five. Like, that's. person actually looked at the tab themselves. People should take that person as like the person's example. I don't think Kong Kong's actually watching the thing, so... Will the, no, uh, actually... But will the, did will it leave? That person I thought left by themselves didn't leave. Will the got rejoined again. So that drop that what person, their time's up to you. Why does he keep getting rejoined? I don't know, because he pressed the button like three times or something. We got that drop that. No, Pushin, you can't leave. That, <laughs> that helping me. Drop that walk person. <laughs> yeah. That, that their time is up. I don't know if they're listening to this or not. pressing enter. It's gonna keep breaking like this. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think how I want this to go. I think... I'm gonna... It's gonna be kind of big-ish, so I think I'm gonna put it here. This is the entrance. But I wanna lift it up first. So right when you first go out, <laughs> oh, yes, I am a YouTuber. I do theme park tycoon videos, which is what I'm playing right now. <laughs> Stream then? Were you just on Twitch? 
Or, you, or did you see that I posted the video? What the what? What? My message too. <laughs> what the, what that breeze was? Mm, oh, I'm a fan. <laughs> there are <laughs> fans like, oh, that's that breeze. There's a fan over there. Oh yeah, yeah, that looks better. The branch. Uh... I'm gonna see if Thank Will was Thank you. Right. Hide in sight. Get it. What is it? Hide. I'm gonna actually see if. Hide uh... in sight. Huh? I'm gonna see if Will was actually staying in the game this time before I write him down again. Because otherwise it would be the third time writing him down. Let's make this rapid. So, like, okay, so the... I'm, what I'm thinking of is putting like a little mountain range over here next to the freeway. So like th the first thing here is it'll be like goes down into the mountain. And then I'm gonna have it go... Down again. And do a little quick turn here, which this is gonna be a problem for the mountain, so I already feel like I need to move the entrance more forward. Also, Pusheen is uh, talking to you about the tree. Huh? Pusheen is talking to you about the tree. Oh. In game. And you missed Roller Steam following. Walrus stream, thank you for following us. I thought he followed us last week, but maybe I was wrong. I don't think so. You know what I could actually do now, too, is because now that you can hide things in the blocks, I can do this. Oops, wrong one. Yellow color. Doom. Lit up tree. Okay, I'm gonna color this tree though because I don't like the colors, so I'm just gonna throw some colors around here. And then maybe this color a little bit. Just make it kind of randomish here. Uh, what's 
this next color. I think that one? No, it's not that one. There's someone that I like. I think it's that one. Yeah, that one. I'm getting too much color here. I had to play around with that a little bit, but... Because, like, actually, you know, if I make it... All that dark color, because that looks... Let me make this all dark. And then just... I don't have anything necessarily right now I need help with other than than trees. <laughs> so hold on. Put Wilda on the case, because Wilda's finally here. <laughs> you to tell him to just to do the tree before he takes over Holier Park. Yeah, definitely do not touch any more in my park. Especially over there in the kitchen part. <laughs> he says he heard that. <laughs> Good. Okay, so... What do you want me to do with the times, though? Um... I'll have them work on the trees a little bit. I mean, it shouldn't... <laughs> I shouldn't take them that long to finish these trees now that there's people helping over there and then whenever they're done with the trees. Yeah, I'll just, just keep the times for now and if they go over, to, over it a little bit because they're still building, then that's mm -hmm. fine. I think I'm gonna put... And if they're done before their time's up, then they just keep their normal time. Yeah. think there. Okay. And then some rapids. And then I'm gonna go down three again. And that way, there you go. I put it in the right exact place that I wanted it. Um, and then, so this is gonna have like a little loop here. And there's gonna be like a hippo pond right here in the middle. So, what's gonna happen is, is this is gonna go down. And I should actually first mark off where this hippo pond is going to be. So the hippo pond. It's like here. There's a 
bunch of hippos right there. Can you just, as a test, um, just put water in that hole and then put a, uh, Oops. a, uh, wrapper right in there to see how high exactly the, the boats are? Because maybe you could. Maybe I was gonna put the rabbit rights in the water. Yeah, just just to see how deep they yeah, go. Yeah, I wanted. That's why I was trying. That's why I was making the water first. Because yeah. I'm actually gonna make this a little bit bigger. Because you want to make sure that the people don't drown in the water if it's too far down. Because if it does go too far down, you might have to do a little bit of advanced editor stuff there. down well that one's like way long should make a little dip there actually just do that instead. <laughs> that looks a little low. I think I might have to do advanced editor for that. Is it just... You want me to just place it and see? Uh, just, yeah, that is actually pretty low. Yeah. At it now. <laughs> yeah. Probably gonna have to use the advanced one for that. Mm -hmm. Just to get it on the same level, which uh, I forgot how you did that thing where you turned this off. This, this The middle one has to be zero, correct? To yeah. make the front straight. Yeah, there you go. And then... Oh, red's right there. Yeah, I'll lift this up. And then about there-ish. Still looks like it. I'm looking at the edge of the ride there, so right about there. Just, just kind of line it out with the so you, that, with the with the grass. Yeah, so that the edge of the. Yep, there it goes perfectly. That look yeah. at that, perfect. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to stretch this out a little bit. Where is the green? There it is. She's all the way in the water. And now it's all messing up because I still have a thing on. Just make it to make it easier for yourself. Uh -huh. Instead of use spherical man manipulation, use the, the move spline mode. The which one? Move spline mode, the middle one. Oh yeah. Then you have the little arrows instead. It makes it easier. You can just drag it, and then if you keep the auto smoothing thing on. Well, now it's stuck to this. I need to turn this off stuck on zero right now. I'm trying to curve the turn. Yeah, just just turn auto smooth back on via that or in the last tab turn it 90 degrees. Oh, well that just broke it. Well, you turn you turn it 90 degrees down, not Oh, it has to be negative. Oh. Yeah, no, no. The first num, the 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 middle number is the tilt of the thing. That one has to stay zero. You have to make the 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 first number the one that's 180. Either it has to be 90 or negative 90, depending on the direction. I think. Nine. Yeah. Yeah, and then you can just use this, the the move spline mode thing again to put it in the position where you want it. That looks cool, guys. Uh, now, Pusheen said that they finished the tree. Oh, I'm gonna go check it real quick. Ooh, nice. 
like the little things hanging from it. I like it. It looks better to me than what I did. I actually like this color too that they chose for the trunk over there rather than this one that's over here. Is it the same color or is it because this thing- Oh, that's because that thing's orange uh, light in it. Ah, oh, Jesus. That thing is annoying me. the same color I chose, so why does it look different in coloring there? Just use a different material, maybe? Uh-uh, it's wood. It's really weird how... Is it plastic? No, it's wood. And that one's wood, too. So why is that one drastically different color than that one? Oh, there's a white light? Oh, from the- oh! Those look way better than the trees I made. <laughs> I mean, the trees I made were just didn't look like trees. <laughs> they look like weird sticks with bushes things on the top. tree I'm actually gonna see I'm gonna see what this looks like because now I'm gonna put rapids here I'm gonna build that so rapids on the front here and then go back to this and turn off rapids. And then... Hundred and eighty, I guess? Zero. Or zero was to turn way. it? on rapids again. No. Go away. Turn off. No more rapids. Just one normal. There you go. Nerdy's tree. <laughs> My tree wasn't that good. And then now we're gonna go a little bit. Let's build this part and then gonna go a little bit up and snap. Like, not too high up, but a little bit up.
that. And then go back to the basic editor now and turn this. So what's going to happen is, is there's going to be like a little waterfall here going into the water. So this part is going to be this and then we're going to grab the waterfall piece. And the waterfall will be about here, so this would be two waterfall pieces here. Have this normal so you can see the hippos again. And then two more waterfall pieces. And then there's going to be a sharp turn here. start going up the top of the mountain again. You know what I, one thing I wish that um, this game had, that World Coaster Tycoon had? Was the height thing where you can see if you're the same height. Like the little height measurements throughout your ride. You know what I'm talking about? No, the only way to do it is with the, the drain tool and hovering over it. You can hover over it? Yeah, if you get a drain tool and you hover the mouse over the, the, the ride. Oh yeah, like that. Okay, yeah. That's true. I just wish that you could- that has, that'd be one cool thing to have. Uh, though I can't see what the height is. I'm, I'm using the wrong one there. <laughs> one, two, thirty. This again. Let's go back to the terrain tool real quick. Make sure this is correct. Yeah, that's correct. over here and check on them real quick. It's funny you say it's correct because it's completely incorrect. It's one too high, huh? It's 28, the station. The 30 is above it. Oh. <laughs> and you measured the other one below it. Check on them. I to Kong Kong's question and things is like I tried to add some things to it like that and it just ended up looking weird whenever I made the trees. Yeah, like I tried to like make like smooth edges and stuff and then it just ended up not looking good whatsoever with the trees. You can give it a try, Con Con. Go ahead. Mm. He wants to like mess around, like go mess around with this one right here that she just made, this one right here, and see if you can make the smooth edges look good. Because uh, <laughs> I could not whenever I did it. Mm. 
Okay. So there's people wanting in here still. Yeah, so whenever they're done building, just... Yeah, then they're just done. Will, is Will this time up yet or anything? Um, yes, his is over since four minutes ago too, so just for any, all, all three of them, when they're done, they're done. The trees. Is the most pushing? Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna put her name over here. She started out and then will then. Connor I also need to put him. a name on the bagel ride for um, DJ. See if it allows me to put her name in here. I need to go put a sign over there for DJ's big over. What time is it, by the way? 9.30. So I have 30 minutes. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly put the sign over there and then quickly finish the track for the hippo ride. And kind of outline where the mountain's going to be. Um, I'm going to put a sign right here. DJ, do you have two X's in your name? Yeah, you do, okay. Yeah, it's, it's lowercase, uppercase X. Horse tags the, his name, because there's X's in it. <laughs> just do DJ Duckling without the X's. Yeah, I'm just going to People know who he is anyway. What's Pushy doing right now? Uh, she's watching what Colin Con's doing to her trees. Oh. It says ducking. <laughs> DJ duckling, not ducking. Well, that's probably why I tacked then. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, see, ooh, that looks nice. How how uh, Connor did that. I mean, on one side it looks nice, on the other side it also looks like someone just sneezed all over it. Like a booger. <laughs> it's just gooey now. Especially with the things hanging on the bottom, like it's dripping. How's the jungle look? Oh, 
Well, Connor, Peter is harsh. <laughs> He's what we say is brutally <laughs> honest with his opinions. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this track over here real quick. Um, so, what we're gonna do is. Exactly, exactly what I was gonna say. I was like, don't get on to Peter for being brutally honest because you do it too. <laughs> and I guess maybe a few more rapids over here, I guess. I mean, I could have actually had this go a little bit higher, to be honest, like... So that way there could be like a little dip. Like, you see, and then do that thing. And have some rapids. And then go down again. Which, that does not measure out very well. So maybe what I should actually do... Yeah, like that, like... This goes have some rapids right here. And then have a sh sharp turn. Then go down. Or actually, if you make it go down four. Well, that just makes it four long. So you just need to go down three. No, not up three. Big drop ish. Make it go a little straight first. Then make a little curve here. A sharp turn right. Ta da! And this. This is like the first time, actually, I think, in this game that I have made like a rapids ride for any park. Because I don't think I've made a rapids ride for any park I've ever made yet. Mm. I have the thing on so it didn't work. Whee. So we got a little cave there, and then we go down, and then we'll be with the hippos. Oh 
yeah, I had a rapids in Spooksville. That is correct. I forgot about that. I forgot about that rapids ride. <laughs> that one isn't really like a traditional kind of rapids ride. This is probably why I didn't think about it. Because this one is more like because rapids rides in like parks are usually like jungle themed and stuff, and that's what this one's gonna be. So. Keyboard in the background. Of course, it doesn't let me say con con. Thank you guys so much for making my trees. I like them. They look really good. <laughs> like, thank you. No, get the hell out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to go down in the thing real quick and turn off some of the lights so that that tree is not miscolored. I have to open this up now to get in here. I might as well just make this place dark since I'm not gonna I'm closing it off completely. Mm -hmm. I mean the guests don't use the light anyway. Yeah. They walk around in the dark too. Walking around in the dark in here. And then close it off. Now that tree over there is still miscolored, but that could also be because of these lights over here. Like, if I turn these down... Open the entrance itself? Yeah, like, the uh, it only re Like, if you look at the ground, it only reaches the, 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 the little the re roots part. Huh, I'm gonna figure out what this miscoloring is. Oh, because there was more than one light. And the other ones I had, only one light. There you go. That works. Looks super good. Now we're gonna play around real quick because I only have 15 minutes left. So I'm gonna play around with what Peter was saying, like putting these in the ground. Was it this tree that you put in the ground or was it? The, the big three by three tree. The big ones. So shift 
or control actually. And now shift like that. <laughs> Look at that. It's pretty awesome looking. <laughs> Turn this one a little bit and then control mm, like that. We look at those big old bushes. That looks so good. And they're a lot nicer looking than the, the small little bushes. Yeah. But they still do fit with the small bushes. Because the small bushes have yeah, the same style. Yeah, you can style. still put some small bushes in there to fill in the other spaces. Mm -hmm. But this will like, it, it, make, it makes it look more proportionate because they're gigantic trees. Yeah, big trees <laughs> and big bushes. Ugh! I'm actually gonna grab that other one that's like on the side. Yeah, that one. I don't know if that one will work as well though. The wonders of this new game pass. Yeah, that looks great. And then I'm actually gonna grab the small bush. Let me place one down real quick, like right there, and then color it to like fill in the tiny gaps. Mm hmm. Because they fit the same style, just mm -hmm. not their colors. <laughs> huh? Just the default colors aren't the same, so you have to recolor them. Oh, well. yeah, I yeah. just did. put a different, like, I could actually put this here. Make that bush bigger. That looks awesome. <laughs> Thing. I, th I thought I did that last time, but I don't think it's saved. And actually, um, what I'm gonna do is grab the round hole. They're not the tiny little twig things. And then grab this again. So you know what, if I grab this 
play around with this a little bit. I'm gonna grab um, this tree. That one actually like makes it like a little higher bush. And Bobby, Bobby was asking if he can have free cam. Oh, yeah. If it's fixed now. If it's well, it's. It is what it is at the moment. Yeah. It kind of broke, but that's Roblox's fault, not as much Den's fault, because no. the way that he made it really depends on the things that Roblox has. that I have the no collision thing. See right now this is like a little brick wall here. But I can do this now. I'll give an applause to ConCon Con for just now noticing that there's a free cam mode. <laughs> Congratulations. You've been sleeping under a rock again. <laughs> It's okay, because when Midget came and recorded my park, he didn't notice that there was one either. Like, he, in his own words, he's like, Oh, free cam mode is actually a thing? It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's in the change log. Din doesn't just put things there just because. <laughs> like, there's a reason he puts the change log there, so you can see what change it did. Mm-hmm. Wow, that looks so good. Look at that entrance, guys. Looks good. Did anybody did 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 um Did anyone make a PJB AMM zoo thing? Did Blue Gamer end up making Only one? Blue Gamer, but I might make one myself later. Because mm -hmm. the one he ended up having, the last one, like the panda bear's head was completely see through. Yeah. <sighs> and the hippo's mouth, too. Wow. This looks so good with those trees, though. So good. So. Got like 10 minutes left. I'm probably going to make this go all the way around. Wondering how this looks like underneath the ground. this blank over here at the moment because I don't exactly know if anything will go in that corner but I will do this one Okay. 
We actually got a lot done today. Bitty glowing orbs, golden, which is another thing you can use to light up the trees and hide them in the blocks. I just realized this tree over here doesn't have any of these. Concon just said a pretty good idea, maybe. If you have the smallest light orb and make it like bright yellow for little fireflies. Yeah, I was gonna, I was, that was my idea. Probably do that. Like how I was doing, instead of hiding them in the trees, just... Because the bottom part's not being lit, like the bottom of the trees is being lit. Oops. And Magma Bro 2 is now following us, thank you for following us. Um, Oliver's back in the game even though he already has been in the game for 20 minutes. Is, is somebody else wanting to join? Well, someone else was there, but he's back in there now again, even though he's already been in there for 20 minutes a day. Birdie's over there making uh, music. <laughs> like, like... Well, I'm almost done with the stream anyway, so... Oh no. But... This way this lights up the the jungle on the bottom as well. There we go. There's our entrance. So thank you for pushing and Connor for making the trees. Thank you, Peter, for being sitting there for like half the day whenever this thing came out and discovering that the things make gigantic bushes. <sighs> this is gonna be really nice side, I think. Like, and it's it's. It's a little bit- the, whole, the only thing that's bothering me right now is it's like very overpowered by the other side being a whole gigantic kitchen, but whatever. <laughs> it's not much I can do about that. Like, I kind of almost feel like this ferris wheel centerpiece thing is getting like eaten up by this- these entrances, but... I think it looks pretty good so far though. 
definitely liking this. Oh, thank you, Connor, for giving me 10 bits. <laughs> and he said, dang, I was only gonna cheer one bit for Peter agreeing with me, but then you did my idea anyway, so here's 10. <laughs> I like this a lot. And then we're gonna work on, so next week, which it's Saturday now, just so you guys remember, it is Saturday now that the stream is going to be, not Fridays anymore. Yeah, because we already had two people in the chat confused about it yesterday. Yeah, like, so. Where's the stream? Um, we're going to be working on this ride, which is going to be Hippo Pool Rapids ride, and uh, then I'm pro if I probably won't finish that by the end of the stream. <laughs> But then the thing after that, Con Con is now giving us 10 more bits. <laughs> Thank you for the cheers. Um, I probably won't finish this by the end of the next stream because I've detailed. It's probably going to take me the full two hours. But then the next week after that, I'm probably going to have Peter build the sloth coaster. And I'll either have him in game for that or he can just be using my character and building it probably using my character so you guys can see how he builds yeah it might it. be easier that way because two people in the game at the same time on the same connection the girls are streaming on it doesn't really like that either yeah so it might cause lag on the stream if, uh, if we are both in it at the same time yeah so next week rapids ride with hippos week after that sloth coaster and then I'm going to try to figure out a neat panda ride to make to go probably about here. So, see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. protect your soul.